Line charts are a fundamental aspect of any Power BI report. You utilize them to show time series and trends within your report. But the native data labels with a single value are quite restricting where you can just see the value at a specific point. Well today we're going to learn how to create these awesome KPI cards that allow you to present different metrics within a single chart. So for example, your value, your presented change and the difference is completely up to you but you're providing more insight to your users without them having to look at different visuals. This is really easy to implement so let's go ahead and learn how to do so. But before we do, I'm Raja, the Power BI guy, and I teach Power BI, SQL, Excel, and just general data content. So for more videos like this, do like and subscribe, but let's just go ahead and get started. So let's learn how to create our KPI cards in line charts that show additional data points. So in this example, we have our value for the current month, the difference between the current and the previous, and then the percentage change. Now you can have any three data points that you want. That's just what I'll be using in this example. So the first thing that we have to do is create our line chart. So let's go ahead and insert that visualization. And for this, let's bring in our months. So we'll bring that into the X axis. And then for our first value, we have to create a measure. So I'll just be doing a very simple sum of our sales. So let's create a new measure and let's just call this sales and do a sum of our sales column. And now if we bring that into our Y axis, we have the foundations for our visual. Let's do some formatting. So we go to lines in the format tab, adjust the width to four and the interpolation style will set this to smooth. And at this point, we can turn on our data labels. Now, currently, this is just a single value across our sort of various months, and we want to enrich that data. So to do that, we now need to create our secondary calculation, which is our difference between the current month and the previous month. So to do that, first, we need our previous month. So let's go ahead and create that calculation. Now, there's various ways that you can do this. I'll just be doing a very simple sort of example and just call this previous month sales. And what we'll do is calculate our sales and then we'll use the previous month function and then reference our date column. Now there are various ways to do sort of previous month. This is just a simple example. So we'll just do this. And now because we have our secondary calculation, so we have our sales, our previous month sales, our current month sales, what we can do is work out the difference. So to do that, let's create our third measure and let's call this sales diff. And then for this, we'll just do sales minus, uh, sorry, wrong calculation. So sales minus our previous month sales. And what we can do now is insert this into our visualization. So we have our data labels. And if we take a look, we have title, value, and then detail. But then if we head over and enable detail, we can see we can add another value. And then for our title, Currently, this is using our series name, but we can also select a custom value where we can add a value as well. So let's start off with detail. So let's bring in our sales variance and we can see it's now got our title. It's got our value and then our difference. Let's just change that to no formatting so we can actually see the actual value. Let's do the same for our sales. So let's turn on no display units so we can actually see the value. And right now they're in a single line. So what we have to do is go to layout and then instead of single line, select multi-line. So now they're stacked on top of each other. Let's set up the alignment. So bring this to the left. And if we make our value slightly bigger, and this is a trick where it starts to make it look like a KPI card, we can make our value slightly bigger and then our formatting. Let's just change these to actual numbers. So let's leave the difference as a normal. Our sales, let's change that to dollars. And then for our title, we'll change that in a second. But what we'll do now is turn on the background of our data labels. And now it's starting to look like mini cards. Well, we can adjust the formatting of this as well because currently they're not all positioned above. So what we need to do is head over to options. So if we go to options, what we'll find is, where's options gone? Now, there it is, options. And if we set this to above, and then we can set the minimum offset to let's say 10 and we can see it goes higher. It's up to you what you want that offset to be. It's up to you what you want that offset to be. But as you can see, they're now above the lines. 
and to actually then make them connect to the data point. So it's very obvious what card it's related to or what time we can turn on leader lines. And then for our leader lines, let's set this to dashed. And now we have our KPI cards. So in terms of the formatting, we can do conditional formatting on our values to start giving that effect of the present uh, that effect of the change between our months. So to do that, let's do another calculation where we actually work out the month for month. So we have that on the top. So to do that, let's just look at this calculation. We have our sales, the, the actual difference divided by the total. So let's go ahead and copy that and I'll create a new measure. Uh, let's call this month for month. And now if we do get the result of this and then bring that into our values, so into our title, sorry. What we'll do is turn off series name, select custom, and then bring our month for month calculation. And then let's set the display units to none. And then our actual formatting, we need to set that to a percentage. And now we have the percentage change month for month. But in terms of the formatting, we want to have the triangle as well. So to do that, what we can do is this format function where we say essentially format the month for month, the result of that month for month. And what this is doing is saying if it's above 0%, include the triangle and format it like that. If it's below 0%, then yeah, have the triangle put in that way. So let's just go ahead and copy this to our month for month calculation. So let's put a return there. And then let's create a variable and call this underscore month for month. And then reference our various calculations. So we now need to reference our sales variance. And then over here, we're going to do our total sales. So we have the difference divided by the total. And then now when we enter that, we're going to have our triangles appear as well. And in terms of the actual conditional formatting, what we're doing is if the cells, the previous month difference is less than zero. So if the difference is less than zero, return red, otherwise return green. And what we can do is just apply that calculation. So let's go ahead and copy that once again. And I didn't format that. So let's set this to D. And now we're going to create a new calculation. Oh, let's bring that to our measures table and we just create a new calculation where we just do the formatting so let's call this a uh, month for month format and for this we're going to do if instead of our previous month variance we're just going to do our sales variance so that's the same calculation if the difference is less than zero return red otherwise return green and we can then apply that conditional formatting by heading over to the title and then using our field value, all data, and then our month for month format. And then if we apply that, we now have the colors. So that's essentially how we create our KPI cards. It's completely dynamic and you can have any calculation inside these cards. In terms of the formatting, let's say our sales amount, let's make that an actual dollar. And then you can change the actual way the and then you can change the detail, for example. So if we go back to our data labels, let's make the detail slightly smaller. And there we have our KPI cards for our line charts. So hopefully this tutorial was useful. It's really simple to actually implement. So go ahead and do it within your reports. Your stakeholders are going to get a lot more information. And if you made it this far, please do like